in about 1971, I think, uh, I saw an article in a St. John newspaper while I was at the East Coast visiting my grandmother. Uh, it was about a woman who had been on the streets of St. John for several decades selling artificial flowers she made herself. And she went unnoticed all that time. Then she died and suddenly we have the huge newspaper article. And I thought that was sad. This is the flower. The bell tolled low, scarcely heard at first. An itinerant artist saw her once when he came painting five dollar faces of pedestrians. He saw her and was intrigued by thoughts that filled her eyes and worlds she held in her skilled hands and strong will. Sitting her back to the wall as a defense against the electric wind sparking around her and chilling. He saw her and offered free to paint her portrait. The flower lady portrait was painted. There is a business window where she walked, a haunting portrait of the flower lady. She sits back to the wall, face to the wind, short circuits, city gray, gazing into distance at green European fields for a warm farm home where a young girl once lived. She sits back to the wall, face to the wind, a basket of flowers at her feet. The bell tolled. She was the flower lady. She needed no more identification than that. She rose with alley cats and young babies. She rose with the crisp morning sun and sea breeze, and was sometimes in her place at Market's Head as early as seven in the morning. She took brightly colored materials in the beginning and created flowers she sold all over the city. There was a restaurant where she ate, if you can call it that. A bit of tea and a bit of toast, not much of either. She sat alone, caring for her creations, her nearly flower, pinching and shaking like petals, straightening green, green leaves. Then she ate her usual late evening lunch, tea and toast, that was all. The bell tolled. It was often midnight before she returned to her room with her leftover not quite flowers. If the sun hung like a halo, the glow was rain burning her eyes and dropping burning summertime to her shoulders, she walked. If the sea threw its net of fog over her, no matter, she walked. If winter wrapped cold claws around her and dug icy teeth into her, she walked. One man recalled one cold and foggy night, she knocked on his door at 11 at night. A good part of her bouquets unsold. She lived chiefly on tea and toast. She ordered her small cash reserved for materials to create nearly not quite flowers. For 22 years she occupied the same room, had no guests or visitors who were seen. No relative came to call on the flower lady. The bell tolled. She was herself like a flower, a thin wildflower, bright and alive, like the Mayflower she sold in the spring. Sometimes she wore a fresh crisp bandana. Sometimes her grape basket was gaily decorated like a happy moment in childhood. Sometimes it was plain. The tributes were many. She was always neat and tidy. She would not take charity. Once, when her kindly landlady turned down a $3 payment she wanted to make on her rent, she went out and bought her a gift in the same amount. Everything reported seems to enhance her memory. When her death was announced, few noticed. The bell tolled low. She needed no more identification than that.